Hello everybody, my name is Tubus Blood and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Settlement Showcase series and this time we are at Spectacle Island and uh, let's start off with the settlement defenses at least in this area so there will be spawn point for enemies right here or right here in this general vicinity right here on this bridge which is kind of a very interesting spot if I may say so um, yeah I don't know what to think of it, it's really kind of weird um, I didn't do anything here, because... Is this beyond the boundary? I don't think so. Oh, no it's not. I just didn't do anything here. I think probably just because, honestly, I forgot about it, but it's like not that big of a deal since it's not the main attraction, or... A attraction. Um... So... Residential... Protective dog of my settlement, the Shiba Inu from the Creation Club, and yeah, um, as you might have just seen, my Shiba Inu just grew, and that's because these kind of dog houses are modeled just for German shepherds, so like dog meat, so they they shrink and grow um, the different dog breeds from the Creation Club as they see fit. Um, so yeah um okay so let's talk about the house I again as I said in other builds I really would really like to be able to restore the houses but like damn this house is just like in a very bad state of disrepair so there's no way in hell I would be able to do this um nor have the patience for it, so I just left it the way it is. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to it. Um, I didn't really do much of anything in here, except did add the population settlement software. Got one scavenging station. I would have, I would have liked to put, um, I could have just put plants in here from the creation club. Oh, well. Uh, I didn't do anything there, even though I would have liked to. Got my fusion generator. Um, all right, I want to go to this side first. We'll do some zigzagging across the Factor Island. Um, the second sp settlement spawn point for enemies. I just haven't noticed that island out there. I think I've probably explored it. Um, the second spawn point is roughly in this area, or like right down in here. That's why I got the wall of turrets sitting right there um so I did a little mix and match I did not want to use the um the barn tile set for Far Harbor because I figured it would only be appropriate in Far Harbor so I just put down like the wood tile set and the warehouses and metal and stuff like that you'll see I put that here on uh, Spectacle Island, so I kind of mix and match. I put the foundation, and I again, I didn't really want to use the wood tile set, so I ended up using the warehouse. And then again, you get the nice big windows. You could look out into the water, and it's really nice. I wonder if we can see Spectacle Island, or uh, Norte again from here. Probably. To some extent, if I had a sniper, we'd be able to see, but I don't have a sniper on me. Um, so, all these houses are the same. I will go through them, though. It's not like uh, Sanctuary Hells, where they're the exact same. They're all a little different and unique in their own way. So, I got the... I used the bunk beds from the Creation Club. Um, just because I think it's practical to put bunk beds, and I just wanted to use them. So, and then we got a coffee tip. That's right. Um, we got ourselves a dining table here uh, with another plant from Creation Club, and I put down a sofa and a radio. So all those at some point will appear in each settlement. I was just saying I didn't put down a cooking station, but the reason behind that is is because I don't think there will be enough room for a cooking station, so I think I put down a communal 
Cooking station? No, 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 I didn't. Um, no, I didn't. I, I probably should at this point, but I didn't. I put down also a campfire, and I guess that's the reason why is because I would imagine like the settlers, even though this is very uneven land, but we'll just leave that be. Uh, <laughs> we'll stand back a little farther. Um, the like it, I would imagine the settlers fishing out into the water and getting hopefully some unradiated fish, and they'd be able to cook it. Right there in the campfire, or even just at night, just sit down in front of the fire across the water. And I got um, lighting fixtures all over the island. And in case if you didn't know already, uh, Spectacle Island has the largest settlement build spot in the entire game. So I put down another Slocum's Joe, just because it'd be the only one unique to the island. This is the first time I've seen a settler at the station, so I did not deck them out in Slocum's Joe garb. Every time I came back here, there was never anybody working here, even though it was assigned, so I'm very happy about this. Um, at this point, I'm done with this playthrough, so I'm just going to leave him alone just in his suit and tie. Um, Alright, yeah, we'll just go in here. I spawned in here. I got my uh, targeting. Spawn point here in the... Hello, what were you doing? This is I got my target spawn point in here. So, I've got weapons, armor, clinic, clothing in general, all in here. So this is kind of like a hangout, shopping area. Kind of like a... Uh, not really a shopping mall, but more or less what I was picturing. We got some arcade machines from the Creation Club. I've got the uh, slot machines from Vault Tech and the soda fountain from Vault Tech. So some decorations from uh, Creation Club. I don't know why they leave their posts sometimes, unless it is because of the slot machines. Like this gentleman just got off of his clothing station. I don't know why, but um, I think I started to say I spawned in here and there was a glowing mud mire lurk. I don't know why I was going to say Mud Crab, but that's Skyrim. And uh, there's the result. So... Um... I guess I was anticipating I had a Brahmin, or I thought I had one. But he's not here. Um... I don't know. We'll, um, we'll go back here. Whoa. I don't know if anybody else saw that. Something glitching through. Um... Okay, so here's the metal house. I kind of built every house with every tile set that would be native to the Commonwealth, so I got the wood warehouse and so on and so forth. Um, my carrot farm here in the beach. Uh, then we go into the metal house with a smaller dining table, uh, black covered, black sheets of bunk beds, a plant from Creation Club, and a single chair. I would have liked to put down more seating, but it is just a really small house. And this was a giant pain to build, and I don't know why, but it was. A really, I think it was because the pieces weren't clicking or something. It was really difficult to try and build this metal house. I would not recommend it. Um, unless you're good at it, and I just, I just suck. Um, <laughs> oh, I did not put a radio in that one. Oh, well. So here's the fourth house, and I have a TV and a radio in this one with green bed sheets, military green with a longer dining table. And yeah, just kind of the same thing over and over, but I mean, it works. Um, I think I would have liked to have done something here, but there's just nothing to do with it, so... I left it alone. And finally, the last house, which I really enjoy these box cars. Um, I don't know. I just, I really enjoy these box cars. I think they're so cool. And just be able to, I, it took, I don't even know how many times it took me to get this. It took me like, I think this was at least three or four attempts it took me to build this. Not so much, like, getting the pieces to stick together, but, like, I originally wanted them to go 
like this. Whoa. One would go like this, but it wasn't working that way, so I ended up having to turn it this way, turn it horizontal instead of vertical, but this works so much better. And I don't know why, it took me like, again, like three or four attempts to figure that out. My only drawback for this is that it's really cramped, like especially just through here. Where there's a couch, a plant, and a radio, but like, then you get the views. I love it. Like, <laughs> this is like the smallest house I've ever built for settlers. I don't think I would ideally like to make this as a player home, but like, I don't know. This is just so cool, and I love it. That I love building this. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Minimalism at its finest, I suppose. Um, I mean, I try to color coordinate all the bed sheets um, so that they're different to each location. So I got red in here, and then you can see that. Ooh, can we not get through? Nope. Okay. Um, then we got the campfire out here again, as well as view out to the boat and just the water. And I believe that should be it. I don't know why I'm going out this way, just because, uh, I guess spoiler alert, um, this is where the workshop is and there's a giant Mirelurk fight that you can either do or you can avoid it by hitting a siren that's all the way out at that boat out there. Here, I'll point it out to that boat. So basically, in order to get this settlement, you need to get rid of the Mirelurks. Oh, there's my third settlement spawn. Um, you gotta get rid of the Mirelurks spawn. You gotta get rid of the Mirelurks. So you run all the way down to that boat. You hit a switch. And a bunch of Mirelurks, including a Mirelurk Queen, will spawn up and come and attack you. So you can either fight the queen or you can run all the way back here hit this switch and it will cause some sort of um frequency that the Mirelux don't like and they'll and they'll just flee so that's what i did because it's easier that way so it saved me on ammunition and uh yeah um so yeah here's the third spawn point it is roughly right here I would say and that's why I got two sets of uh, turrets set there and now like I uh, I don't know you'd have to have like really high charisma on top of stacking beer or other consumables that give you high charisma to enable to get so many settlers to live here for me, it's just too much that I would not be able to handle this much area. I barely may do with what I have and I would not, like this would just be over consuming. Like it'd be intimidating for me to build this much. But yeah, then there's my water, water purifier all the way out there behind the Slocum's Joe. Forgot to point that out. All right, so now this time let's do the night tour. Alright, here we are back at Spectacle Island, this time with the night tour. Pretty dark over here, it's not that big of a deal because it's not a big feature. Um, you already get the existing lighting with this lantern here in the workshop. Um, as well as, I don't know, the conduits, they, I know they don't give off a lot of light, but it's just like enough to like dot the island so you're not totally lost. Um, so to me it's alright. And again, you get your own personal street light here, and a bunch of lighting inside with the stringed lights that I put up. Because to me, they give off a ton of light. Oh, there's my provisioner. Brahmin running for his dear life. Uh, Slocum's Jew. The mess hall. Mm, yeah, it's kind of... <laughs> kind of roughly it, so... Didn't really see much from the metal house on the outside. You can't see a whole lot. Huh. I mean, it's, then again, it's overwhelmed with the street light, but... 
Anyway. Go in the wood house, all lit and nice. And then my favorite one, the boxcar house. <laughs> uh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, yeah, because again, I can only I only maxed out at 16 settlers. But uh, that's enough for me anyway. Not enough for this giant... Whoa. They're all congregating right here, so... Okay, then. Um, wait, is anybody in the Slocum's Joe? No, they're just chilling on the outside. That's unfortunate. But yeah, that's going to do it for my Spectacle Island build. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video and to stay in tune with this uh, so showcase series. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll get you guys next time.